Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be playing through a game that is currently on Kickstarter called An Age Contrived. This game is designed by Chris Matthew and published by Bellows Intent, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, Monique and I are going to be taking on the roles of different fantasy gods in a fantasy world, trying to get the people of the world to praise us and build temples in our name. That's right. This is a world called Eldenir, and so we're going to be building monuments and using energy, which is the game's main source of resource, to take actions and score points at the end of the mm -hmm. game. Now the game plays one to five players, and so today, as per usual, we're going to start with a teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game, so things are subject to change in the future, and that could also include some of the rules. Uh, if you are interested in this campaign, there is a link in the description which you can check out at your leisure. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin! So, if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of An Age Contrived. Welcome to Eldenir! Yes, big town. <laughs> Now we have a lot of things going on here, so let me just kind of give you the lay of the land. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is a world, not a town, Naveen. <laughs> now the world is divided into several distinct regions. We have them uh, sort of color-coded with a region down here where Naveen's avatar is starting and my avatar over here where it's starting. Mm -hmm. And each region houses a specific monument. Because we're playing a two-player game, then we're only going to be building three of them, and they're located in these three regions here. Now there's a lot of lore that comes into play with this game and this world, and so if you'd like to learn more about the world and just the backstory, we encourage you to check out their Kickstarter as well as their website. Now the way that these monuments work is each one of them is made up of anywhere between four or five different pieces. Mm -hmm. And so over the course of the game, we're going to be building them layer by layer, and they use uh, magnets to snap on to these metal pieces that are on the board. These monuments serve as the timer for the game, and so once all three of these monuments have been built, that will end the game and we'll go into final scoring, which is where all the scoring in this game takes place. Now the way that the game works is everything is built on these energy tiles, and so we're going to be using these tiles in order to take actions using our action devices, as well as score points by binding the energy to these monuments, to pillars of civilization, as well as achievements. And so they are very multi-use. A majority of the game is going to require us to use these resources wisely, because you're not only going to need to use them, but you'll need to spend them at the right time. Yeah, sometimes they'll be out of your uh, collection, so mm -hmm. you can never use them again. Right. And so thematically, as gods in this world's pantheon, we are trying to get the people to believe in us the most, yeah. us as individual gods. We're trying to one-up each other. Yes, and so we're going to be using our energy to build these monument tiles. And each time a tile is built, then our tiles get bound to that spot. And this is going to be one of the ways at, in which we score points at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to be scoring points for four different things, and they're all laid out up here. At the end of the game, for each energy that you have bound to monument tiles, you'll score a certain number of points. There'll be a moment where we'll be able to build different pillars of civilization, which are these things here, and they stand for various parts of humanity, such as mathematics, economics, philosophy. There are six of them in total, and so that's another way that we'll be scoring points at the end of the game, depending on how many of them we have out. We each also have eight of our energy tiles in the reserve, mm -hmm. and so over the course of the game, we'll have the option to try to get them out of the reserve, and for each pair of those that we have out at the end of the game, we will also score points. Finally, we each have our own sort of asymmetric uh, abilities and link tokens that we have on our player boards, and we'll be going over those before we start the game. Mm -hmm. But the final link tile will also score us points depending on which side we use. Actually, there's one more place to score points, and that's through this achievements track here, and we'll talk about that later. That's right. And so the way that the actual game works is we're just going to be taking turns, going back and forth, taking actions until the game ends. And again, the game end trigger is once all three monuments have been built. And so the way that a turn works is on your turn, you're going to be using your device to take actions. Now we do have to mention that we're going to be using these metal devices that have this sort of spring-like uh, device attached to it. We're not going to be using the spring ejection bit of it, but we're going to be using it to kind of hold all of our tiles together. This does not necessarily come with all versions of the game, so we mm -hmm. encourage you to check out the Kickstarter for more details on that. Sure. But the way that this works is it is actually comprised of five different columns. And so at the bottom of each column is one of the four main types of actions that we're going to be taking on our turn. Each column also has one of these transmitter tiles that holds the energy. And so we each start the game with the exact set of seven mm -hmm. with two of them that are not in the device. And they divide each column into two halves, the top row and the bottom row. 
The bottom row is going to be for energy tiles that we're going to be spending in order to take the action that's at the bottom of the column. Mm -hmm. And the energy tiles that are in the top row are going to be used to be placed out onto the board. And we're going to be basically placing them onto the different monuments in order to try to build them. The dimensional corridor in order to purchase better transmitter tiles mm -hmm. as well as the various achievements so that we can have nice end game scoring. Mm -hmm. And so on your turn, you can actually take as many actions as you'd like or else you're able to by just spending each of the energy that are in the bottom row of your device. And all of the actions are in the same order on each player's device. So starting with the leftmost action here, anytime you see that specific action, which we'll also see in the third spot here, this allows you to pick one of the transmitter tiles in any of those two um, areas of your device and basically deploy all of the energy tiles that are in the top row of that specific transmitter tile. So this action allows me to choose either one of these two, which mm -hmm. clearly I don't have any energy in right now. Can't do it. But let's say I had energy maybe in a future turn. I could take this action by spending this bottom one, exhausting it, placing it back into my exhausted pool, and then deploying both of these energy tiles to one of those three areas on the board. If I were to place them in an achievement, then that's going to stay there for the rest of the game. Or I can send it to the dimensional corridor, but a lot of the times I'm going to want to send it to an incomplete section of one of the monuments in order to try to build it. Mm -hmm. Now, in building these monuments, you have to build them in a specific order. So that's why we have them stacked here. And each layer has specific energy tiles that it needs in order to be built. So this one here needs two rose symbols mm -hmm. and then a this symbol <laughs> over uh, here. Yeah. And seeing as I have a tile with that symbol right there, by taking this deploy action, I could place it there. And there it will stay until uh, this uh, entire thing has been completed. And this one maybe I'll place over here because they have matching symbols. I'm going to skip to the third action because it basically does the exact same thing, except it's just pointing at these two transmitter tiles instead of these two. Mm -hmm. And the other difference, actually, between actions one and three is this first action here has an alternate type of action, which is basically recharging your channel marker, which uh, is going to start the game exhausted. And the significance of this we will discuss later. Now, the next type of action, which is in slot number two, also gives you two different options. The first option actually uh, is one of the ways in which this doesn't have to stay here. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to relocate energy that's on the board. So you can basically move uh, energy that's on uncompleted monument tiles to the dimensional corridor and vice versa, or from any of those two locations to an achievement. But again, once it's in an achievement, then those are not going to get moved. Those are there for the rest of the game. Yeah, that energy is sequestered out of the game. You cannot use it in the future. That's right. But maybe if I can see that a different monument is about to get built, then I can relocate my energy to that monument to get that section built faster. Mm -hmm. When taking that action, by the way, you can do it up to twice when using the standard action that comes with your device. The other option for this specific action over here is purchasing up to two of these tiles that are in the dimensional corridor. Now, in order to acquire these, you have to spend a number of energy tiles from the dimensional corridor equal to whatever it says above the tile. And so the ones on the rightmost section here are going to be the cheapest at one energy tile, going all the way up to three. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's nice about these is they come with uh, more spaces for energy in the either the top or bottom row. Sometimes you'll see two and two. Mm -hmm. And they also have these symbols, which we're going to be matching um, a little bit later. Whenever you purchase these, you're going to spend the energy from the dimensional corridor, and then you're going to actually replace one of your pre-existing tiles from either the inactive or from your device. Mm -hmm. If you replace one from your device, any of the energy that's in the tile gets uh, exhausted. Wasted. Yeah, yeah, it gets wasted. Mm -hmm. But now you have that to put in any of the slots that you're replacing. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, so as you can see, this tile that Monique just indicated is much better than this one because right. it has an additional slot. And a symbol. And a symbol. And taking this action allows you to acquire up to two of these. Now, after doing that, any other player who has at least one energy in the dimensional corridor gets kind of like a kickback. Yeah. They're allowed to place another energy into that corridor so that they can purchase a little bit more on their turn. More purchasing power. Right. Now, at the end of the game, for each of these energy tiles that you have still left over here, it's going to be one victory point, just so you know. And finally, we have our fourth main type of action, and this allows us to move. This is the move action. Mm -hmm. There are three different ways in which we're going to be spending movement points. One of the main ways is via our avatars. And so our avatars start in different areas of the board, and they have to follow along this specific path. And they basically cannot change direction. Whenever you uh, move your avatar, you always have to keep on going in the direction that it's facing. Mm -hmm. 
certain areas along the path will fork. And so in those moments, you're going to choose which way to go. Um, and sometimes they might encounter uh, broken areas of path, just like this. These are areas where we're going to be placing our link tokens eventually so that they're no longer broken and we can now traverse those areas. But if ever our avatar comes across those broken link paths without a link token on them, then they will e automatically turn around, mm -hmm. basically. And so taking that action will allow you to take um, up to two of movements with your avatar. Alternatively, there are two other ways in which we're going to be moving, and they are via our transformative and sentient tracks, both of which are on our player boards. Mm -hmm. Now, the transformative track has to do with the different monument areas that are on the board. So that's why they have that sort of purple uh, building symbol. Mm -hmm. And the sentient track is how we get our energy from our exhausted pile to the pillars of civilization. Now, the way that both of these tracks work is they start the game completely empty. But whenever you have at least one movement point, you can spend that movement point to place one of your energy from your exhausted pool onto the starting space of that track. And I just want to note that taking this action will allow you two movements via your avatar or one movement on the sentient track or one movement on the transformative track. Yep. So you have to choose one of the three to take. Now that I have this energy token here, each additional movement will allow me to move it up on this track. And as soon as I get to the very top, then I can use a free movement to get it out onto the board, depending on which track it was on. So if it was a transformative track, then I can place it um, in a bound area region of any of the monuments that are on the board. It doesn't have to be a monument that's in play, but I either have to have my avatar in that region or a linking token that's at least connected to that region. So these linking tokens, as we'll discuss later, are going to be connecting two different regions on the board. Mm -hmm. So if I had my linking token here, I can either bind this energy to this monument or this one, essentially. Yep. And same goes for the sentient track, except we're going to be using the energy token that goes up this track to place it on one of the six pillars of civilization that are on the board. Now, each pillars of civilization are also bound to an area. So same rules apply. You have to have either your avatar there or um, a link. So this would be illegal because I'm not there at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, because we're playing a two player game, uh, the right uh, pillar of civilization is not going to be available to us at all. Yeah, just so, one for each player. One for yeah. each player, which is unfortunate because it's going to be highly competitive because at the end of the game, those are going to be worth a lot of points, all the way up to 38 points if you just stole all six. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially it, because this very last action spot here allows you to take any of the other four actions. And again, on your turn, you're taking as many actions as you're able to by spending the energy tokens in the bottom row of your device. Mm -hmm. Now, at some point, you're going to run out of uh, energy tokens that are in your device to spend for actions. Sure. So on your turn, instead of taking actions, you can advance your device by choosing one of your inactive transmitter tiles and sliding it into the left-hand spot here, kicking out the rightmost spot. And so if you had any energy tiles in this rightmost, it would get exhausted. exhausted. Yep. And any um, new tiles that go in from the left, you refill immediately with tiles that are in your exhausted pile. That's right. Now, earlier we discussed recharging your marker over here. If this is charged, when you take that advance action, you can exhaust it to do it again second and basically time. put in a second tile. Mm -hmm. So that way you get more bang for your buck. Yeah, you're loading that. up your actions going into the next round. Exactly. Now, over the course of the game, we're going to be acquiring conduit tokens that look like this. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we acquire these, you're going to place them at the top of your device. And so after moving these tiles, when you're taking that advance um, turn, if you're able to match symbols in the same column, so exactly like I have it here, I have the two feet up here as well as the foot <laughs> symbol mm -hmm. that's on my uh, transmitter tile. Yep. I get to do that specific move action, which is going to be moving my avatar. Because anytime you see the red feet, that means specifically your avatar. And same goes for matching the purple transformative symbols and the green sentient symbols. Mm -hmm. And that sort of completes the cycle of what you're going to be doing on your turn. Right. Now, before you end your turn, if ever uh, an entire section of a monument is complete, Sure. Maybe look in something like this. Okay. Whoever is the person who placed the last uh, energy on it is going to be the completing person. Sure. <laughs> so they're going to place their tile um, upside just like that to keep to remember that they completed it. Yeah. And before you end your turn, you're actually going to build the monument. And so the way that that works is starting with the player who did not complete it, they get a benefit. And the benefit is going to be either what's shown on the bonus token that's next to the monument tile, where in this case is getting one of those conduit tokens that I just discussed, yeah. or getting the specific energy that's shown on the, uh, the monument itself from your reserve. 
where in this case, it looks like the compass symbol as well as this one yeah, <laughs> over yeah, there. The broken pillar. So you get a benefit per player, not depending on how many tiles you have there. Right. And once Naveen has decided which one he wants, then he can also choose to get the benefit of the actual tile symbol um, that's shown here. Now that is an optional variant. If you want to keep the game simple, you don't have to play with those, but we're going to be playing with, play them. with them. Yep. And they're going to do various things such as immediately getting to place the tile back out onto a monument or getting to place it back onto your device. And we'll go over those as we play the game. Mm -hmm. Once he's chosen his benefits, then I get to choose mine and also get the benefit of whatever that tile is. But for the final tile that actually completed the monument, it's going to get bound to that monument for the rest of the game. Yep. So you have to choose wisely which tile you actually want to use to complete the monument. And that's essentially it. Just one note about the energy that you have in the reserve. Each time you remove a whole uh, pair of symbols, then you immediately get to charge your marker, which is nice if you can kind of time that properly. That's right. And again, these are going to give you points at the end of the game, depending on how many pairs you removed from your, your uh, reserve. Mm -hmm. Just a couple more things before we get started. One thing is over the course of the game, you may have the opportunity to upgrade these actions. Yes. And so that's going to be specifically by taking this bonus over here by helping build this monument. Mm -hmm. So this might be hot in the beginning of the game. <laughs> Anytime you upgrade an action, you take one of the upgraded actions from off the board and you replace one of yours from your device. Mm -hmm. After that, you can no longer upgrade that specific action area um, for the rest of the game. The last thing is anytime your avatar moves on top of a, a link uh, or past it, then you can take the benefit of whatever it shows on the link itself. These are going to allow us to do various things. And we'll discuss those as we play the game as well. But one of the main things that this is going to do is allow us to place out more link tokens. Mm -hmm. So that's what that symbol means. Anytime you place out a link token, it's going to unveil a specific ability that is specific to your character. It's asymmetric. So yep. all the characters are asymmetric. Mm -hmm. We will discuss our powers before we start the game as well. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's it. That's yeah. As soon as all of the monuments are built, then we go into end game scoring. And again, we're going to get points for our final link tile if we place it out. We're going to get points for our pillars of civilization, all of our bound energy to the monuments around the board, um, all of the energy that we've removed from the reserve, as well as our achievements. And at that point, whoever has the most victory points is the victorious god of the pantheon. <laughs> you mustn't forget <laughs> any leftover energy that's in ah. this section here. <laughs> also gets you one point. That's Not right. the best bang for your buck for your energy. But still something. Something. So that's about it. We're going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We are ready to go. We just have to figure out who is going to be going first and who is going to introduce their god first. Right. Okay. Ready? ready? Yes. Rock. It's me. <laughs> okay. I'm first. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we did a little bit of setup uh, before we started this. And so the way that setup works is you get to choose six of your energy to place into your device, mm -hmm. specifically these left six. Column one, two, and three. Yes. We also have the exact same transmitter tiles in their positions. They're actually numbered one through five. Yep. We also get to uh, secretly choose one last energy tile to place in the dimensional corridor before mm -hmm. you start. So you have a little bit in the bank uh, going into the game. Yeah, it looks like we both chose this kind of compass symbol because mm -hmm. if you can see on the board, there's only one compass symbol that's out there. Right. So it seems like a better currency than actually deploying it onto these monuments. Yeah. And so today I'm going to be playing as Freyth. And Freyth is interesting because as soon as I put out my first link token, my level one, my tier one ability comes into play, which basically makes my my primal energy, which is my, uh, my unique symbol, mm -hmm. it makes it wild. Whenever I complete a monument or whenever I place it out and I take its benefit, I can choose one of the other benefits of the other symbols that's to take. Nice, yeah. So that's kind of nice. The other two tiers are actually really sweet because the, the level two one allows me to teleport which is nice to different areas of the board, which will be very helpful for putting out energy into the pillars of civilization and just bounding them to more monuments. And then my tier three allows me to uh, basically rearrange or move bound energy to different areas of the board. Yeah, because typically the rule is once it's bound, it is bound, but yes. Monique can actually break that rule with her god. If I place out that third token. Yeah. And the thing is, we didn't really go into detail about the monument scoring, but at the end of the game, you're going to score points depending, depending on how many energy you have in each monument. Mm -hmm. It's not just spread out across the board. It's uh, up per to a max monument. of three. If you have three of them in one monument, you get 12 points. 
So it might be a good way for me to kind of spread yeah. out my points. Anything more than three in one particular monument is wasted. So that's why Monique might want to do that. Mm -hmm. My god is this a dragon, Ignatius. Ah. Ignotus. Um, so I have a couple uh, different things that can happen. Mm -hmm. My powers all have to do with rearranging my device and helping build my engine. Mm -hmm. The first level, if I ever get my primal uh, energy into either slot four or five, I automatically get to recharge my token, which is uh, really nice. That's really nice. The second tier benefit for me is anytime I use an advance action to slide everything down in this little contraption here, mm -hmm. if there was any holes in that initial starting slot, mm -hmm. I get to automatically populate it, That's which is nice. really nice versus waiting for it to come all the way back around. Right. And my third tier benefit is anytime I move my avatar into another region, I get to rearrange everything on my device. <laughs> that's nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I think that's it. Are you that's ready it. to begin? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So starting with me, I'm going to get this, uh, this party started. For my first turn, I'm going to take two actions. Okay. So my first action, I'm going to spend this, or I'm going to exhaust this energy to recharge my marker. Okay. Because I assume I'm going to be advancing soon. Sure. And that'll be nice to be able to do that twice. And then I'm going to spend this energy, I'm gonna exhaust it, to take this action, which allows me to choose one of these two transmitter tiles and send out or deploy an energy from one of these two. So I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. And again, this is one of those spring devices that you could do that and spit it up, but we're just going to keep it simple this time. Okay. And I'm gonna place this over here. So All right. I'm starting the monument building. Getting us going, huh? Yeah, I think that's it. This this action, if I were to take it, would allow me to either rearrange or purchase one of these tiles. Mm -hmm. oh, should I purchase a tile? <laughs> it does seem like a waste to not. You know what, I'm gonna do it. Nice. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use this last action and I'm going to spend my energy to purchase this okay. this tile. Very good. Again, you have to replace one of the ones um, in your possession. So I'm going to replace this. This is now out of the game forever because you can only have seven. Seven max. Yeah. Seven max. You'll always have seven. Yes, and I cannot purchase more. So these slide down, and we get. I get a little benefit though by me one. having one here. I get a passive. You get a kickback. Kickback. Let's go ahead and just place. Well, let's get some variety. Ah, I'll put that the one rose. There, the rose. All right, that's the end of my turn. Right. So that goes to you. Okay, the first action I'm going to take is I am going to charge my token. I think I like that. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and uh, spend this, mm -hmm. exhaust it, get this one flipped up because I do want to have more actions in my device. Yeah. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to also upgrade uh, one of my transmuter tiles. So I'm going to spend this one, okay. exhausting it. And then I have up to two to spend. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually only going to spend one of them, though. And I'm going to spend my rose. Okay. It's going to come back to me, and I'm going to buy this tile right here. Yeah, what a shame. So I'm not in there. Uh, yeah, now the question is, which one of these am I going to spit out? And I think I'm actually going to replace... Uh, one of the ones that's already in the device. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think I'm going to replace this one here. Okay, but that tile is going to go away. The tile is going to go away. And scratch that, I think I would rather have this kind of coming in cycle, or yeah. not waiting a bunch of rounds. <laughs> I was going to say, why are you so going to waste that energy? I'm going to replace this one right here. So it's okay. basically this same one, but now with this symbol, which is one of the goals towards this achievement here. Yeah, the boot. The boot. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this. This is out of the game. Yep. And then this now goes into slot number five over here. Nice. So there we go. And then I will take this last action. I'm going to go ahead and deploy as well. Okay. And uh, seeing as this is a thing over here, let's go ahead and just do the same the same thing that you did. I want to get in on yours. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and send out this onto that slot right over there. All right. So now it's only missing the rose symbol. The old rose. All right. Well, let's go ahead and slide these down, by yeah. the way. Okay. And then um, you do not get a passive thing. I do not because I don't have one in there, which right. is a shame. That's kind of why I debated that last turn. Do I buy? But Well, I didn't end up spending two. It wasn't like there. I bought something that yeah. was value two. I still right. bought a value one. So. The thing that's nice about having tiles in the dimensional corridor is the ability to rearrange them. That's right. But... Alas. Alas. You <laughs> Are you done? Uh, that's me. Okay, so it goes back to me, and I don't have any more energy in my bottom row, so I need to advance. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to spend my marker that I charged okay. to advance both of these tiles. Yeah, for sure. You know what? I'm not quite sure I planned this properly, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and slide this down twice. So you are still going to be spending that token? I okay. am, yes. Okay. I still think sure. that having uh more energy in my system is better than not 
Yeah, that, I mean, that's the main purpose of this, so you might as well use it when you have it. Yes, okay. So because these are the two that went in, and again, I was able to do two of them because I spent my, my marker. Mm -hmm. um, because these are the two that went in, I fill them now. You oh do. my gosh, that's the decision, isn't it? I'm gonna go double rows on top. Okay. And then the bottom doesn't matter too much uh, besides the fact that it's just kind of out of circulation. Sure. So let's do these. Oh, that's it. Just these. That's it. Yeah, these. just those. That's actually my entire turn. Mm -hmm. So now it goes back to you. So I'm also in the same situation. I have no actions to take here. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of forced to do this. So I will spend this so okay. that I can get these two loaded in. Uh, which one also, I am not too sure exactly which one to load in, but let's go ahead and slide these two down okay so you're doing the double as well. i'm doing the double for sure guys so i spent my token okay uh, so these are out i'm not allowed to use these to come back in uh-huh and so now i think i'm gonna go with uh i'd like to have more actions later i think so okay. i'm gonna slide this one in and there then go. this one as well okay nice. perfect and then now i'm gonna populate these four spaces so i'm gonna place this token in this slot here uh a rose down there I'm gonna put my my wild. I think. Ooh, do I want to put my? I'll keep my wild off for for right now. Okay. I'll put rose and then compass just like that. Very good. Okay, that's me. All right, it is back to me, and uh, I am now seeing some strategic uh, mishaps already. Errors really in your way. Errors in my way. So um, on my turn, I wanted to try to complete this, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it requires an energy tile that has a rose symbol. And mm -hmm. the only two action spaces that I can go to deploy are these two. And I would need to activate this one in order to deploy any of my yeah. rose tiles. There's so. nothing in that bottom section, so. Yes, there's nothing here to take that action. So that stinks. I guess I might as well take this action. So I'm going to spend or exhaust this energy to deploy from one of these two. So this is my only option. Okay. This is not a rose symbol, so I can't complete that. <laughs> I'm very tempted to take the re uh, the rearrange action to move that out of there so that Naveen can't complete it. You could, or you could get passive stuff on my, yeah, on my it work. it would only really hurt me, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and I guess because I don't want to really commit my... Well, this is the time. This is the time to take that one spot. Yeah. These are two rose symbols. Are, and you have and roses coming up. This is the only spot that can house that, so... It's true. I'm going there it's with that. It's true. And I think that's it, unfortunately. Well, I guess I could do this to unflip your to, to recharge my channel the, marker uh, that's yeah the question is do you need it this to be an action somewhere down the road yeah because i'm going to run into this problem again mm -hmm. if i move if the tiles down that. twice yeah. it's going to be empty again so you know what i'm just going to leave it i'm going to leave it like that that's i fair. did one action that's fair, that's fair. It it's happens. back to you naveen Okay, so I think I will do a couple different actions. The okay. first one I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one of my rose tokens to yeah. uh, I'm going to make a purchase now because I have only one tile oh, here. I should have put that there. <laughs> because you, I only have one tile here, I'm going to I'm going to spend it to take this one. This is the only one I, I am eligible for. Okay. Um, and then this is going to go, and I think I'm just going to get rid of I'm going to get rid of this one here. Uh, I'm I'm going to have a two instead of just a one one. Okay. I think I like that. So this is going to go into this slot in a second. I'm going to ditch that out. Thank you. Gosh, I snoozed. Had I put that tile into the you dimensional corner, passive... I said I would have been able to put another one in there. Yeah, so these are going to slide down. More money in the bank. More money. Now no money okay. in the now, bank. Th Look at these nice windows, though. Two, two by twos are really nice. Yeah, we'll that is really nice. Later. Next action is my last action. I'm going to use this one to launch or deploy this one here. So I'm going to spend this rose. Okay. And I'm going to send this one out to that monument. We are going to get our first construction. Just All right. like that. At the end of your turn. At so the end of my if, turn. If you're done. That is the end of my turn, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Our first monument construction. So uh, we've completed the first layer of this. Because Naveen was the one who caused this to be completed, then it's going to be starting with me. I get a benefit. Yes. I can either take these two energy tiles from my reserve, which are... The compass and the rose. The compass and the rose. And by the way, if it, if you can't really see it too well, there are two of each symbol and there are four different symbols. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to score points, you have to take a pair of symbols off right. uh, for it to count. Um, you know, I'm not really low on energy quite yet, and I think the bonus tile is nice here, it which is, is nice. getting an action upgrade, so I'm going to do that. Okay. 
And I think I'm going to take this one. Okay. So you can only upgrade the first four actions because that fifth one is always going to be taking one of the other four. Right. Um, and so this is going to replace my number one slot here. So now this can never be upgraded, which I had a hard time deciding because basically the one I chose allows me to choose two different uh, tiles from these three slots. Yeah. So it gives me a, br a wider range mm -hmm. and I can choose two of two tiles so yeah, I can deploy good. much faster. The one above it, the other option for slot number one, allows you to do this exact one plus recharge your channel right. marker. Um, that would have been nice, but can't have it all. No, no, no. <laughs> so there you go. I'm cool. taking that. So that one's out of the game. So this is out of the game. Uh, in addition, I also get the benefit because we are playing with this variant. I also get to do what this specific tile does. This tile is specifically invertible energy. And mm -hmm. so I get to actually load this back into one of the five channels of my device. So I guess I'll place it here. Mm -hmm. I regretted not having something there. Yeah. So there we are. All right, All right. So now it's to me. So it's my choice. I can get one of those two or uh -huh. both of those, or I can do this. I think I want to upgrade actions as well. Yeah. I'd like it's early on. Yeah. So I'm going to take the, also a level three, but I'm going to take this one. Oh, right I took here. A, a slot one. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, I thought you took a three. <laughs> so <laughs> this one right here, this allows me to uh, deploy from any of these three on the far left up to twice. Yes. So that's pretty nice. So and it's basically the inverse of mine. Uh, yeah, it is the inverse of yours. Um, so this is going to go out and this is going to come in and hopefully I can use it to my advantage. Very good. I debated that one, but because of that moment where I didn't have an action there, I was afraid yeah. that I would skip over it again. Yeah. So. so this one is also invertible energy. So I'm uh -huh. going to go ahead and just take this and place it back. I think I'm going to put it here. Nice. Might as well. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. Might as well get that going. Yep. So now you do have that last one. I do. Um, you don't get to do anything with it no. <laughs> because it is the energy that you use to complete the section. It's going to get bound. So it is bound to this location here mm -hmm. uh, where it shall remain. Yes. And now we get this magnetic piece here, if I can do it right. And it's <laughs> going to go ahead and attach, boom, like that. Very good. So now it's all hooked up. So that's one section out one of, of four, four. Yep. completed for that monument. Mm -hmm. All right, now we've revealed another layer here. Uh, once this is completed, there's only one <laughs> energy tile that you could take from the reserve. Yeah. At the back of the rule book, there's actually a chart that shows all of the layers of all the monuments. So you can see what's coming up and you can kind of plan accordingly. Mm -hmm. All right, all done? Yeah, that's it. Back to me. And I thought I was going to have to advance, but I guess not because I have some, some tiles here now. Sure. I'm going to start by exhausting this energy here okay. because I can use it to deploy either from here or here, which I have to be cautious of because this only lets me deploy from the last three. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah, that's good. It's a rose. I think I'm gonna try to complete this on my own. Uh, <laughs> Naveen, yeah, I know. you've been booted from the party. I'm, I'm booted. Um, with, this, with this energy, I'm using this to deploy this tile nice. because it's from here on. Okay, so good. I've completed that, was good. that monument. And I do have this, but I don't think I can use it, so that'll end my turn. Sure. And so now this has been completed. Uh, I can do either these two. I can take either these two energy from the reserve, or I can get a conduit tile. Yeah. I think I'm going to get a conduit tile what because would you like? I have some symbols here now. Okay. And it would be great to start matching them. So do you want the purple, the red? I'm going to take the double purple. Okay. Conduit tile. Yes, thank you. There you go. And so only the top stack has the double symbol. Yeah, everything else is one. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? I think I'm going to go here. Yeah, it's dead center. <laughs> right in the middle. I debated the foot one, but because my 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 player here, one of my abilities is teleporting. You, yeah, seemed, you don't need to take the long yeah, scenic route. Like yeah. Eventually, it wasn't going to be that worth it. Yep. Okay, so I only get one benefit, no matter how many tiles I have here. So I can now use their ability. This is invertible energy again. So I can place this somewhere. I'm going to place this here. And then this one is a little bit different. This is generative energy. And so when I exhaust this, I can move. I can basically move up to two spaces. Okay. I'm going to start moving my avatar, I think. Okay. So I'm going to go one, and this forks. And I think I'm going to go two. Okay. <laughs> Moving good. in this direction, which I think is going to fork again. So we'll see. Need some choices. Yeah. And that's it for those. So now this gets completed. This gets bound to that monument. Uh, and then this piece is going to go right here. I believe we're making a boat. You are making a boat. You're I, in the water. I hope I'm doing that correctly. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is the end of my turn. It goes back to you. Okay. Back to me. Yes. I could start doing some stuff, but I think I want to 
add a little bit more to my chain here. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna bring this one in. You're advancing. I'm advancing. So because I'd like to get this one out also. Okay. And so let's go ahead and just slide that in. How many are you doing? Um, just one because this okay. is uh, this is uh, exhausted. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and load a compass. Okay. Let's get a, a rose. And then in this bottom section here, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and put another compass All just right. for fun. Fully loaded. Fully loaded. That's my action. All right. Back to me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to advance as well. Okay. So my marker is also uh, exhausted. So I'm mm -hmm. only going to be able to load one. And of course, I'm going to load in the nice one yeah, since I don't one. have a foot uh, <laughs> conduit sure. token. Uh, no matching yet. I am one away from being able to match my symbols. Yeah. I'm gonna load with these three. So compass, uh, that rock looking one. Sure. And then my primal energy will just go at the bottom for now, since it doesn't have any uh, you know, unique activation yet. Right. Okay, that's me. So it goes back to you. All right, I see the opportunity to go it alone. Oh. I think I might go it alone here. And I <laughs> This is what I get. <laughs> I, I have two different options. I can go it alone here or here. The thing about going here is the benefit is you only get one energy from the supply. Right. Here, if you're just kind of lingering there, you can get two energy from the supply. Energy is going to start to become a problem. You mean when you complete it? When you complete it or when you are when you participate in this over yeah. here. So I think I want to complete this one to get this out of the circulation. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. To be a little mean. Okay. Yes. So the uh, first action I'm going to take is this one. I'm going to exhaust this yep. and then I'm going to be able to send out this into this location there. Okay. Uh, the next action I'm going to take is this one, which allows me to release from two different locations. Oh, that's so nice. So I'm going to release from this location right now, mm -hmm. just to go ahead and plop this down. I just want to get involved here. <laughs> and then both of these are going to get released. And then I'm going to, oops, I actually put that in the wrong spot. Sorry. This is going to get released over here. Okay. Going back to that previous one. And then this rose is going to come into this spot and then this is going to end with that one right there wow ah. you and that's okay interesting that is everything and you definitely wanted this to be the one that you're binding right um what did i bind before i cannot recall it's a rose, it's a rose. so technically technically if you're going to try to do some achievements you want the same symbol out there yeah. i don't see a way to do it okay so we didn't really discuss the achievements too much but with the achievements, as soon as you can meet the requirement, then you can deploy mm -hmm. a tile to the achievement spots. The right-hand side, we're not going to be using because those are only for a three and up player game. Yep. But the left-hand side, depending on the tile that you place there, it's going to get you two points for that specific uh, icon of tile anywhere on the board, including itself. Yep. So that's kind of why you want to be uh, cognizant of which symbols are on the board. You want to put light type out there, but as you put more light type out there, they're now out of your circulation, meaning mm -hmm. you can't take certain actions. Right. Um, and you can only have uh, one of each type on these achievements. Yep. You cannot double dip. Right. And those two top spaces, by the way, are variable. So we just kind of randomized what, what goes in there. And mm -hmm. so the very, very topmost spot there, the requirement uh, requires you to have at least one bound energy in three different monuments. Ooh, okay. So you're actually on your way I'm moving. because yep. you're going to get a second one yeah. over here. The one below it requires you to have one of each uh, type of energy from your reserve. Okay, so one entire so, column. Yes, okay. one entire column, basically. Perfect. So that's going to be it for all my actions. Oh, okay. We're going to go ahead and resolve this now. Very good. So you're the only one there. What would I'm you the like? only one, yeah. So I can either get two of these resource or energies, or I can take this action here. This is how you can put out one of your links. Mm -hmm. I think I want to do that right now. Yes, yeah, so the link tiles are of three different tiers, and you have to place them out from bottom to top. Right. These are neutral uh, tiles, by the way, and so they don't belong to either of us, but we can use them when our avatar lands on it. Yep. Uh, so I'm, I don't like the fact that this one's out here already for me to use. So I think I will do my opposite side actually shows something a little different. Oh, yes. This will allow you to take any of the tiles from the reserve. Mm -hmm. So these choices are kind of tough because it's kind of hard to see where my avatar is going to end up. But mm -hmm. I think I'm going to put this one out in this spot here. Oh, okay. Uh, so this one says basically that uh, you get to pluck from the reserve. Yes, uh, any type. Of your choice. That's if I cross that path, or even if you find your way there, right? then you can do that. So I took this benefit, and then now I get to take both of these back, and because these are that symbol... I think it's invertible energy. Invertible energy. I can place them anywhere I want mm -hmm. on my board. I'm going to place one here, nice. and then the other one, let's just place it here. Very good. Now build your monument. Build, off I go. So this one is going <laughs> to now stay there. So I'm two-thirds of the way through that achievement. And yeah, that's right. And we're going to get this one going. You just need to get in here. I do. And we're going to plop that in right there. 
right there. All right. It's like the tower. Wow. Okay. And I think all of these monuments have four pieces? They're all four, yeah. The only one that's five is up here in the north. So you're, we're a quarter of the way there. Yeah. Which is not good because yeah. I don't have any energy <laughs> on the board really. Just have the one. Yeah. All right. So you're done with your turn? That's the end of it. Okay. Now it goes back to me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this action. I'm going to exhaust this. This lets me choose one of the four to take. And I think I'm going to move okay. my avatar. So my avatar is moving in this direction. This is a fork. So I'm going to yep. choose to go one... Two. Two. So I'm landing on top of this link token. This allows me to take this one for free mm -hmm. without having to exhaust any energy here. Pretty good. Which is great because I don't have <laughs> any energy in there, there. Yeah. So I'm replacing this plain one. That one's out. And it's going to be a, a nicer one. Um, let's see. I could take this action. And you know, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to exhaust this. Really this will allow me to deploy this this uh, energy here. This whole thing. This is a rose uh one and now i'm starting to get nervous because how can i take these off if all the single layer ones are gone mm -hmm. i'm gonna place it over here nice let's get going on this uh yeah. blue monument i don't have much presence there yeah plus quite yet. you want to get this ability right here because yes. if you want to just float around the board as you see fit yes i do i need, need, to get, those I need to get that that link token off okay yeah. i'm done i'm gonna end my turn there so now it's back to you pretty good so I'm going to take an advance action. I'm going to move my conveyor belt down the road. So All right. let's go ahead and get it moving. I do not have that token that lets me do it twice, unfortunately. Okay. Don't think that's going to happen in a long time. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in this one right here. Okay. So this gets me a little bit more juice. Yep. And these go. are now nice and lined up over here, which is pretty good also. Okay. okay. So I'm going to slide that in there. I'm going to put these two as well as, uh, might as well just put in my mystery one right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done? All right, that's me. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. So I'm just sliding over one, and I think I'll place, I mean, this seems nice, right? Yeah, Two sure. is better than one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, by moving them over, I have now lined up my conduit token with nice. the symbol. So nice. I have three uh, movements of my transformative track. So I have to spend the first movement to just place a tile there. Yep. And what do I have, a rose? Are we looking at rose right now? Uh, well, you have a rose there. This rose is in play, so this will definitely not finish this one, right? Right. I, who knows if I'm going to even finish that, period. Uh, I'm going to just do um, a rose. Let's okay. go rose. Sure. So this is one, and then I have two more, so two, three. Okay. That's that. I'm one away from being able to uh, put it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then now I'm going to go ahead and load this. So I'll go compass on top and then just any two at the bottom. And that's me. So now it's back to you. All right. Very nice. So I have a interesting looking situation you have here. You a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay. So on my turn, I think I can take some actions now and I think I can complete a segment. So mm -hmm. I'm going to try to complete this one here. Okay. And the way I'm going to do that is by using... Um, how would I do this? Okay. I'm going to use this ability, okay. which says I can do any action from one to four. I'm yep. going to represent it as a three, okay. which will allow me to shoot off from this location here. So I'm going to exhaust it, representing okay. this this uh, slot deploy. <laughs> to deploy. And both of these are going to go in one, two. Nice. Just like that. Yes. So I'm you're going to get something there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to be spending a lot. Of, I need to find my way back to some energy. Okay. Um, that does not complete my action quite yet because I am going to go ahead and deploy uh, this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send out this piece and I'm okay. going to move it onto this spot right here. Okay. And then this is going to be exhausted. Very good. And I'm not going to move anything around here, uh, but I do have the option of moving up on one of these tracks. I think I will withhold it and let it slide down and get a little bit more mature. Okay. All right. <laughs> Maturing energy. Yes. Interesting. Well, that monument is now complete. Yes. So starting with me, you are first. I'm taking this benefit. Gonna I'm going to regret not getting tiles from my reserve. Yeah. But I don't learn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn. From my mistakes. So that's going to allow me to put out this link token. Cool. And I can place this anywhere. So I think I'm going to go over here. Oh, yeah? Because now I technically have presence in both of these lands if I want to mm. do something. Do something. <laughs> so now that I have that out, my tier one ability is activated. And so that has to do with my primal energy, which is the one that has the hand, this symbol right here. So anytime I go to activate it by putting it in a monument, I can basically just choose any of the other uh, benefits. Gotcha. All right, so that's that. And now I'm going to activate this, which is a generative energy that allows me to take two movements. Right. And since I'm here now, I guess I might as well move this. Okay. Right, so this is gonna be one, 
to get to the top for a free movement, I can place it out. That's free. So I'm going to place it here mm -hmm. because that's what the transformative track does. It yep. goes to uh, monuments. And then I have one more uh, movement there. So I'm going to place another rose uh, on that track. Keeping it going, huh? Keeping it going. That's and a now... smart placement right there. Why? Well, because you know I'm constructing the second one. Yeah. So if you happen to come in and construct three, four, mm -hmm. you would have the, the max three there. That's a pretty good spot. Mm. Okay, the benefit I'm going to take is I'm actually not going to be putting out one of these tiles. I need more of those. More energy? More energy. You're so, taking your primal? Yeah. It, it, All right. It, it requires me to take the primal energy, so yes. yeah, I get that. This yeah, it has a specific energy type listed on there. Exactly. It becomes uh, exhausted. And then this uh, benefit says I can move it basically anywhere else on the board that I see fit. I Here, see perhaps? <laughs> fit. Here. Wow. Oh, you're gonna construct... So we're going to construct a second one oh in one turn. There's no stopping Naveen right now. Let me add it. All right. <laughs> That's it. All right. Go ahead and build it. Okay. So this one's going to get built. This is going to now come into this location there. Mm -hmm. We get to section two. And section I believe two. section two is on the back end here. Oh, oh my gosh. Like that. What am I going to do? I have uh, nothing. Trying. I have two. Well, I guess I have something. Yeah. But, and well, this, you have another one. So that set off this chain reaction here. So now the debate for me is, do I want to upgrade an action? Upgrading actions are so nice. Yeah. But having tiles is also really nice. Yeah, yeah that's true. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna upgrade an action. Okay. Um, I think I'll, I'll do that. So let's go ahead and grab. I'm gonna grab the one that upgrades uh, the level one action here. Okay. This one basically, instead of the ore, now I get to flip over this tile every time I activate this one. That seems like something I'm gonna to wanna to do over the course of the game. Okay. So this one kicks out, this one kicks in. Nice. And that resolves that. So let's go ahead and take this. This is the one that gets to go back into my device. Uh -huh. uh, let's place this one over here. Okay. Might as well. So that way I can maybe deploy it in the future. Mm -hmm. And then this rose is going to allow me to move uh, twice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move my, my avatar. We're just going to move one, two, like that. Interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. And then this comes back to me. And then this goes here. Yes, no we more chaining. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that. Wow. Okay. Not good. Monique. Yeah. Oh. Time to score. You are scoring. Are you done? That's it. Your turn? Yeah, okay, everything. so it's going to go back to me for a most riveting turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Slide. advance just by one. Um, and so this is the one that went out. Ugh, I guess I'll put this one in. They're both the same, really. And I'm just going to fill in one and one, which is not great. Okay. Ugh, I need to replace these. So I'll go rose and then this symbol, just like that. Nice. All right, back to you. So you're fully loaded. I am not fully loaded. <laughs> it's like missing teeth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I think I will also slide some stuff over. I'm gonna bring this one in right now because I cannot, well, let's bring this one in just in case. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and slide everything down. Nice. This comes out. I do not have the benefit quite yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to load my rows here. And then now that this is unlocked, mm -hmm. this kind of behooves me to have my <laughs> primal energy getting to section four and five for some benefits. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Nice. Yeah. I regret having this here because now that mine is activated, that could have been very useful. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So back to me. I am going to take uh, two actions, I think. I'm going to exhaust this just to recharge my channel marker. Okay. So that when I advance, it's a little better. And then I'm going to exhaust this to, oh, I can only do it once. <laughs> uh, I'm not planning the 1X. very well uh, yeah. in this game. So instead of flipping over my channel marker, I forgot that this is actually a better action. Sure. I can deploy this area. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to deploy this tile. So I have a compass and that symbol. So I have two compasses, two com compass eye. Compass eye. Um, I guess this will go here. I'm just going to go in one of each. You're just I'm plopping thinking. them? Yeah. And that'll go there. Yeah, getting some passive benefits. Yeah. And then I'm going to exhaust this so that I can deploy that energy. Are and you coming so, into here? Yep. Going in here. Oh, interesting. Getting benefits everywhere. Interesting. That's the plan. <laughs> um, that's it. I'm ending my turn. Oh, that is interesting. Back to you. <laughs> I kind of want to do something similar. Oh. So if I take this one off, I can move these and then kind of just hover. Because I, I need, I need, I don't want to have to put them all out without knowing that I can get more back from from the reserve. So that, that makes me a little nervous. My current problem. Yeah. 
So I'll spend this action. Okay. Uh, I can deploy from two of these bays. Uh, so I'm going to deploy both of these. Okay. Uh, this one I'm going to put out here. Onto okay. that slot. And then this rose over here, I'm going to put out into this slot. Interesting. Just like that. So I'm a little shirt up. And then before this thing gets kind of knocked off, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to take this action right over here. So uh, this five is going to represent this, which allows me uh, to, move? to move. So I'm going to move. Um, we're going to use the foot movement. So yep. I get two movement points. So I'm going to go one. I'm going to get that benefit. Oh, so nice. And then two, I'll just hang out right in there. So I'm just keeping on going. This one comes exhausted. And then now I can just pluck something off of there. What would you like? Uh, seeing as I have one, two, three of my compass symbols out, I'm, I need one back. Well, because... if you take this, you can charge your channel marker. Yes, but it... But don't listen to me. Do you want this? Yeah, I think I need the compass symbol. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I, know. I don't know what you're planning, so I just wanted to let you know. I just want as a, benefit. a little bit of everything, you know? Yeah. So, that is one of the achievements. Yeah, so. exactly. All right. all right. Are you all done with your turn? Uh, that is it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to advance. Okay. So advancing one. So this goes over. And uh, which one? The plane or the plane? <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So I'm going to put one of each. And this time I'm placing my primal energy up there so okay. that I could use it. What does it do again? Uh, for the future. I If I uh, put it in a monument, mm -hmm. when I go to activate it, I can just choose any of the other three benefits, basically, whichever one I want. Nice. So that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's me. So now it goes back to you. Uh, okay, I'm also going to do something very similar. I, I am also left with the exact same situation yeah. where I have same or same. So this is going to come out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're just going to plop this one in. And this is, it's, I might have to do this a couple times <laughs> for turn to turn. So let's get, uh, let's get this one here. Uh, let's not put that one there. Let's put, I'm going to put the rose. You have a rose? Huh? Tony? I have. Uh, I'm going to put this one. I'm scared. <laughs> and then this one will fill in. I'm just going to put my primal again. There we okay. go. Okay. Okay. I like that. Okay. If I complete that, will you complete this? Well, I can't. <laughs> I physically, I physically can't. I, in this, in this next turn? No. Okay. Yeah. How about in the turn after? Possibly. Okay. Okay. We're making deals Possibly. here. That's not how you play the game. No. But I will do this. I'm going to uh, exhaust this energy to deploy from here. So this is a rose. It's going to... It's going to complete up. that monument. Cool. That's it. That's all I'm no doing. No other actions? That's, yes. I could recharge my my marker. I think I will. Knowing that you're going to shuffle in two more on the next turn, you might as well, right? Yeah, I guess so. Because yeah. I will be able to put this somewhere, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this allows you to just place just anywhere. Place it anywhere here. Here. That's, that's a perfect time to do okay, it. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to spend this to uh, untap my channel marker. Yeah. Okay, now I'm done with my turn. Okay, cool. So... Let's go ahead and complete this, starting with you, Naveen. Would you like to take back the rose energy, or do you want to put out a link token? Uh, I want to do both. Um, uh, <laughs> can't do both. Can't? You know, I think th using this benefit is going to be limited over time. And to get back to getting this benefit, I have to walk my way somehow all the way back here. Well, you can walk there. You're almost there. Uh, how far am I? Let's see. One, two, three, four away. That's two avatar movements. Sold. You have sold me on that. Okay. Yeah. So I will. I will take the uh, the link. I'm sorry, not the link bonus. I will take this the one? rose. Yeah. The rose? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll work my way there slowly. So you just need one more of these uh -huh. to qualify for that achievement. Right. So just so you know. Something to know. Okay. And now I'm going to be able to load this, like we said, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to plop it into this slot right over there. Very good. Cool. All right. I am also going to be taking finally one of my energy from here. So cool. it's the rose. Um, and then I can uh, load this as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, where did I want to put this? I will put it here because it gives me the most flexibility. Yeah. You know, it's that just going to go to the one to four spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now this Where goes is... in here. Can you Some... please? The, the three. The layer? Can you please? Yeah. So we are just one away from one completing away. that monument entirely. Okay. I think it goes here. So we have what? Three, four, five, six. We are halfway. Halfway there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That is it for my turn. So now it goes back to you. To me. Okay, so I'm going to have to move some stuff. This is a very big challenge. Like, which tile to slot in, which ones to go in. <laughs> that um, is probably the main that puzzle is, of the yeah, game, Yeah, right? it's, like it's this, definitely a puzzle. It's yeah, a strategy. It's a strategy, it's, yeah, it's for a, sure. It's a big puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to slide this down. We're going to do an advance. So this is going to get out. Uh, that's going to allow me to bring... Oh, 
Oh, this is the painful part. I think I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so indecisive. A, the top bit. Yeah. Cause like nothing else is happening then if I don't do that. So I need to load these up. So I'm going to load that compass that I had earlier. Mm -hmm. And then let's just go ahead and put a rose since that's my most abundant one. I'll put it right there. Very good. That's me. All right. Well, we all know that I'm advancing, so mm -hmm. I'm going to flip over my channel marker. Yeah. I'm exhausting it so I can double advance. So there's one and two. So nice. keep them off to the side for now. These, it doesn't really matter what order I put them in. I don't have any conduit markers. I'm having trouble but... justifying going here, but I know like it's going to pay off if I go there. Yeah. <laughs> We're not buying any. I'm not going there for some reason. Which is funny reason. because the last time so we played foolish. this, we like bought it out. <laughs> well, we did. Yeah, we did. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and load these two okay and i'll just go i'm gonna go with these yeah because those are just gonna be exhausted yes so, okay all right back to you so i know we said we're i'm locked and loaded here yeah but i think i'm gonna advance again oh okay because that allows this to get into this slot which would allow me to recharge so i'm gonna advance this is gonna come off plus i need this back in circulation at some mm -hmm. point uh and then let's go ahead and just put in this footed one one <laughs> okay the footsie so because um i have this section unlocked yeah uh, Anytime my primal energy gets to column four or five, mm -hmm. then I get to flip this token over, which is nice. So I don't even have to take the action here. Uh, and then now I'm going to load this up with just rose, rose. Okay, that is me. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, it is back to me, and we are playing chicken, chicken. on these monuments. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to move on to a different one. <laughs> okay. Because this tile only requires two. Two energy mm -hmm, to complete mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to exhaust both of these to take this action twice. This action lets me deploy from either of these two spaces. So I'm okay. basically going to be deploying both those energy. Gotcha. So there's one. I'm going to deploy this first to the compass space because it is my primal energy. It is a wild. Yep. And so I wanted to deploy that first because I do not want to you bind wanna... that. Yeah. I want to continue to be able to use it. Gotcha. And I'm going to exhaust this to do it again. This time choosing from this uh, space here. And this is the rose. Mm, so that is going to complete that. Uh, Unbelievable. I think that that is it. I think I'm going to end my, my turn there. So uh, this is complete. I am going to take the energy. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. There's, gonna... There are other opportunities to put out these link tokens now. So I, I basically get to choose the one that I want. It's interesting because you, you have a rose. And if yeah. you take a rose, then that unlocks your token. Yes. Because of that and it gets you end game scoring right i'm definitely going to take the rose, the rose okay. because i would like to untap this and from the way that it looks i think all of my rose uh energy is out yeah so if you do an achievement it's nice to plop a rose down that'll that be way. my last rose because yeah. this is a rose oh wow this yeah. is a rose and that is going to go out which is a rose oh, so good. this is literally my last rose energy i won't be able to complete anything with rose anymore <laughs> naveen so okay. it's up to you good to know okay so I did that. Um, this is wild. So now I can choose any. Oh, I can put this out again. Yeah, you can use it as if it's like uh, this benefit here. Yeah, I can either put it here. Oh, I can put it in another monument. You could, but then it would get stuck if you put it here. Right. I would have to put it out. You know, I'm going to place this here. That's covering a rose spot. Ooh. Seeing as I don't have any more rose symbols, <laughs> I want to try to make sure that I'm, that I'm doing that. All right, so that's it. Now uh, this gets completed. On? So I'm going to bind this to that monument. That last uh, tile gets placed. Naveen, would you love to do the honors? All right, let's do it. So we are going to hook it up. Uh, everybody. Let's knock it over. We have a completed, completed monument. Completed monument. And now, because I was the one who completed that, this goes to me. And mm -hmm. I believe this is a tiebreaker of sorts. Okay. And now it is back to you. So we are, oh, we're, we're nearing the end of the game because this has three layers and that has two. two. So once those are completed, that will end the game. Uh -oh, Nobody Monique. has completed any achievements and we don't have any pillars of civilization out, Naveen. The people are going to be very disappointed in us, I think. They are. <laughs> and I think I want to get a pillar of civilization out ASAP. Yeah, you got to get moving on your sentient track. I do. Okay, I'm loaded. I got to take some actions now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I'm going to take this action to represent this one over here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this one to also represent itself. So I'm going to do this a couple times. You're so moving. I'm moving. So the first one is going to uh, go exhausted, <laughs> and I'm going to use it for the two feet. We're going to go one, two. This one is also going to be used for the two feet, and we're going to go three, four. 
So now that allows me to put out one of these yep. uh, linking uh, tiles out onto the board. And I think I want to put it this way. I want it to be super easy for me to get to. <laughs> so I'm going to put it right there. So okay. hopefully I can step on it in a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> nice. Okay. Gosh, if I did this action, I can complete, complete all in one turn because I have the ability to deploy here and here. Mm. I think I have to do it. Yeah. I think I have to do it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm going to spend this uh, this uh, action, exhaust it, and then I'm going to be able to deploy from two different columns. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two. Okay. This one's going to go here, and then uh, this one is going to go there. Nice. Oh. I mean... I mean, this is great for me. It's good I'm for you, not, yeah. You're getting some passive stuff. Not complaining, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, you want to resolve this one first? Uh, it's up to you. Are you done with your turn? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm done with my turn. Okay, so because there are two monuments that are going to be completed, you get to choose which order. Okay, let's go ahead and complete this one right here. Okay, so, so you're first. I can either upgrade an action or take an energy back. What is that, a rose? rose. Oh, I don't have the rose anymore. So I'm going to upgrade Sounds an like action. Sounds like you're upgrading, yeah. I will take the movement one. Okay. Um, what's, are they different? Yeah, this is a three, one, two and a three, two, one. So it's really Ooh. dependent on, on what you're kind of working towards. Let's do the three, one, two. Three, one, two. Yeah, okay. because the, the, the two is basically for the sentient track and neither of us have any pillars of civilization. Yeah, so, that's the one I wanted. This is great. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. All right. And then the energy that I have placed there is the compass. Which can go anywhere. So I can place this anywhere else. Unfortunately, there are no monument slots that are open. Okay. So it can go on an achievement, uh, but also, unfortunately, I don't qualify for any of them. No? No. So I'm going to go there. Okay. <laughs> Money in the bank. Money in the bank. So, like, I really want to take the rose that it's giving me. Yeah? This is this is already flipped. Ah, so it's killing you. The waste. <laughs> the waste is killing me. The inefficiency. Me. The inefficiency is killing me here. It's whispering in your ear. Uh, but I need to get those cleared off if I want to do other actions and all sorts of things. So Yeah, you do. And Draw. you'll get points for that. Well, That'll give you that? some points? scoring. Yeah, they, what, they, what is it? They rank. It's, it's two. It's three, six, ten. Three, six, ten, fifteen. If you clear you off the start, entire reserve. You, you got to start somewhere. Let's do it. I'll take, okay, take that. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead and not flip over here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just flip <laughs> it charged. twice. One, Channel two. Marker. Yeah, there it nice. is. Man. Okay, so that is that one. Uh, the rose allows me to move, though. And you know what? I think I'm just going to get started on this track over here. I'm a little nervous about everything that's going on. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put the... <laughs> the decision. I, this is hard, yeah. Which track? Which track and how far. So I get I get uh, two movement points here uh -huh. for the rose. So I'm going to go... Oh, my God. Two. All right. One, oh, two. you're not going to... You're not going to get a pillar of civilization out, huh? Yet. And then... Uh, so now I get to recall the rose. That's how I was able to move, too. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and bind it. All right, bound. There we are. So I am going to get the max points for this monument here. Yes. Just like you got the max here. Right. So this is the three, and this is going to go, I believe. There are numbers on the board. There are numbers on the board. So that you can it's know exactly how to build it. Here. Boom. Very good. There we go. Okay, so this one only requires two things now. Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. What do you know? Okay, so I can either take a conduit or the rose, which I already have. So here we go. I'm going to take a conduit token. What would you like? Let's do the double foot one. I debated that one earlier. Double foot. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. Go. you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to place it here, I think. Right there. Right, the last spot. Yep. So now I'm going to place the compass out here. Which allows you to do that. That is a compass spot. And I'm going to use this last one to move, okay. I think. I'm going to move my avatar. Okay. And that's two spaces, right? So one, two. Right, facing this is a fork so i guess i won't <laughs> i won't decide the facing yet okay all right so that's it for me so now you you get one of those uh well i could either pluck the rose that's non-existent yep go or ahead take, take a one of token. these i hate the fact that you took the feet <laughs> i really do <laughs> the double pillars are still there they are but i only have one pillar and it's like ah, i guess it's gonna then come back put here. it there right yeah it's gonna come back into rotation so, yeah, I'm going to take the feet, or the foot, <laughs> you take feet, <laughs> and I'm going to slide it here, knowing that when this slides over, um, You'll be able to, I'll be able to with that one. To match. Oh, but I have the double slide. Do I want to put it here? Okay, I'm actually going to put it here instead. Uh, okay. Yeah, because it's where it ends. Right. Right, okay. All right, so that's that. 
This is now here. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and place this. This is piece number two. Number two. I think. Yep. It's going to come on in right over there. Very good. Naveen likes building <laughs> the I'm monuments. Doing so it. Two sides of the boat. Two sides of the boat. Uh, so now we have three pieces left uh, before the game ends. Wow, yeah. not much time. All right. Well, are you done? That's it. Yep. Okay. So it goes back to me, and I'm going to take an advance action. So I'm going to Flip spend, it. yeah, I'm going to exhaust my channel marker and move them twice. So here's one and two. So just like that. And then I'm going to place these two in like this. So I'll be able to fill in six. <gasps> I don't have... <laughs> Problem? I don't have enough to... Not enough resources? To, to put in there. Since I don't have enough energy in my exhausted pile, I'm going to pull this back. Yeah. So you can always pull back from the dimensional corridor or any of the monuments that have not uh, been built. So yeah. I could also pull back from there if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and place, what do we need now? We need compass and that symbol really. Yep. So I'm gonna go hand uh, the one compass that I have left and this and then everything else Ooh, maybe I will put the rose out here. Okay. Just, just in case. You have something up your sleeve. Maybe. All right, that's I me. Don't know what oh, so for an achievement. None of my, none of my symbols match. So back uh, to you, Naveen. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time to get more things loaded. So I am going to spend this token to be able to load in both. And if I do this right, I should put this next. Okay. So these are both going to slide off. Nice. One and two. Okay. Very and good. then I'm going to put in the one with the foot in because this foot is going to line up there. That's going to be nice. And then on the next one, this foot should line up. Yeah, that's great. Okay, one, two. So let me resolve this real quick. Yep. Uh, so because these two are lined up, I get two movements. So with we're going your to avatar. one, two. I'm trying to get to that thing right over there. That would be <laughs> really nice. That would be nice, huh? Yeah, you get a double, just a double free on one of the two tracks. And this one is so close. So close. <laughs> so close, one, two, and then we go out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and now load these up. So I'm going to load this compass here. We're going to just put a rose below it. Mm -hmm. And what symbols are over there? Okay, I'll put one of these over here. And then these really don't matter. So I'm just going to put out my two bottoms so that I, well, I should do it like this. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I mean, the primal energy is good for you because every time it reaches four and five, yeah. you recharge your channel marker. Yeah, I think I want it for some flexibility. Maybe I can trigger the end game if I feel that it's the right timing. Because if I don't have the flexibility of what's actually depicted on there, mm -hmm. it would be nice to have it in a top section to be like, okay, it's just going to go out and end mm. the game, you know? Right. Okay. All done? Yep. All right. So back to me. Probably shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> hey, now I know all yeah. your secrets, Naveen. Okay. The first thing is real simple, real easy. I'm going to exhaust this to um, recharge my marker. You love that. I love doing you that. Love that's that. all, that's yeah. like my number one action in that's, the game, <laughs> recharge your, that marker. Um, I'm also going to exhaust this to move my avatar. Where are you going? So I'm gonna move three spaces now that my action is upgraded. And I'm going one, two, three. Okay, so now you're so in this zone here. I am in this zone yeah. and I can put out a link token. So oh, I'm putting up my second tier, which, or which unlocks my ability to teleport. So for each instance that I'm allowed to move my avatar, instead of moving, I can basically teleport to a non-link space. I cannot just plop on top of a token. That's fair. I have to plop on top of a space. But now I can choose between getting yeah. an upgraded action or, oh, doing that, which is basically this, the two movement thing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm definitely going to do that, right? Sure. I guess I'll go here. It doesn't really matter too much for me now that I have that teleport uh, ability. Cool. So that's that. Uh, what do I need to complete this? Just that? I can complete that on my own? Yeah, I guess I'll do it. I just realized that I charged my marker for no reason. Can okay. I uncharge this? <laughs> sure. Do you care? I don't, no. Okay, I'm going to uncharge this. I just don't remember what was in there. It's not really going to be do you in remember, my... Do you remember what energy was in there? No. You know what? I'm going to leave it charged. Okay. I'm just going to leave it charged. I was we'll, like, we'll does keep it, it matter to me? Let, <laughs> let's keep it simple. Um, I'm going to exhaust this to place this out and let's just finish this out. That. Yeah, okay. I think I will complete this. Yeah. Although I am I'll nervous. Stand it up for oh, you. thank you. No I am nervous because of the timer, the whole timer of the game. I have no idea where I stand in this game. I feel like you're doing well as well. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's it. I'm, I'm ending my turn there. So let's go ahead and complete this. I am going to take an energy from off here and let's... It's any energy of your choice. Any energy of my yeah. choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my primal energy, yeah, so well. it's always nice to have more of those. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a compass, which means I can move it elsewhere. So there it will go. Solid. And then this is going to go in here. We've completed the Would final like do the honors segment. Money? No, you go ahead. You want me to go ahead? <laughs> I know you like doing that. I do like I'm that actually job. not very good at uh, putting the segments together. All right. it's, all, it's all by magnets, so it's yeah. really not that complicated. Don't mind me. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Very good. Boom. All right, and I take this. All right, you get double tiebreaker. I get double huh? tiebreaker. All right. There's that. Unbelievable. So the reason why I take these uh, for being the one who completed the last segment of the monument mm -hmm. is because it's actually a second tiebreaker. The oh, first tiebreaker, in the case of a tie, is for the person who has the most amount of bound energy mm -hmm. um, to monuments, I think, specifically on the board. And then the second tiebreaker is whoever has the most amount of these. Gotcha. So I don't know that that's going to come into play in a two-player game. Sure. So. Okay, for my first action, I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to move my foot's <laughs> We're going to go two spaces, which is something I've been grinding towards, is to get to this spot. Okay. This says I get plus two on this track, and then one, two. I can automatically, in this movement, uh, put this out. So um, I see that I have only two here. The only other way to get another one in there is by being here, because now I'm adjacent to these two. Right. And so I can actually put this out here to get the max 12 points nice. at the end of the well, year. Well, your avatar didn't have to be there, because this is your link. Is that my link? Right? Yeah. The link well, either way, is yes, that's right. The link <laughs> is, that's right, it is my link. But there you go, you you're know, in, nonetheless. If it wasn't my link, right. that would be the way to do it then. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's the first action I'm taking. Uh, the second action I'm going to take is I'm actually going to complete this one over here. Oh, okay. I think I can. And oh I my gosh. I think I'm going to have to do this right. I need this one to be the second one. So I'm taking this one. Okay. I'm going to shoot this off. One, two and these two, it's going to go in this specific order. Down with the compass, up with the... Uh, that symbol. That symbol. Okay. Yes. So you're completing this. I'm completing that. Okay. All right. And that is going to be the end of my action. Okay. I think I had to spend this to do that, though, right? That's uh, it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I lost I, track. I did have to, yeah. Okay. And then I can't fire this rose out because um, I don't think I can. Well, I can. Why not? I should fire this into this spot here. How did you do that? Because uh, it was part of these two, so I had uh, two deploys. Oh, yes, I deployed yes, all you from had there. Two deploys. From there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, yeah, these are worth one point at the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, so might as well get it in there. Might as well. So let's go ahead and complete this. Yes. Starting with me. Um, the energy is this. Oh, I'm in that situation that you're in. I really shouldn't it's have spent points, that. It's worth points, though. Uh, What's worth points? Oh, yeah, I get Yeah, just by out. clearing it out. I'm definitely going to take this, but I'm already get the flip, charged. Yeah. I shouldn't have spent that action. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, I could move the compass elsewhere. So let's move it there. What would you like? Okay, so I'm going to take my primal. Okay. So that's good for me. Now you can recharge. Now I can recharge. I was debating spending one of these actions to do it. And I was like, wait, I, I can get it that way. So. Yeah. Uh, and then that, I'm actually going to not send it there. I'm going to send it to an achievement. Oh. So I am in three different monuments, and that's exactly what this achievement says. Wow. So I'm going to pop it in there. And then with the compass, it's for every compass that's out there, I get two points. I think I got the max. Including itself. Including itself. So it's oh. two, four, six, eight, ten. I am so done. In I this need game. to get that one somewhere onto the board. Naveen, <laughs> you're crushing it. I did. You are. I did. <laughs> Present tense. Doing. Well, very good. Yep. So now you're going to get another um, energy Into the monument. that's yeah. found there. And here you go. Okay. This is the Construct. second to last piece here. This piece. And this is one of the, the cool, the like... sail. Yeah. Is that the sail? I think so. Right. So that's the number three spot, right? Yep. Because it's four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. The boat is coming together. It's coming. <laughs> we'll have a final picture of this. So if end. once this gets constructed, then that, that's going to trigger the end game. That's going to end the game, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, back to me, and uh, the game is going to be ending very soon, it's getting um, close, yeah. I'm thinking. And I don't know if I will get out a pillar of civilization, but we'll see what will happen. Because okay. whoever builds this last monument, you basically finish out so that everybody has the same number of turns. And, and started. I started the game. Yep. So uh, don't end it right now, Naveen. I, I can't because I cannot deploy right now. Nothing's in my top row. Great. So. That means I have some time to advance. Yeah. You know, I charged this. <laughs> I had that whole Charge. charging uh, fiasco, so I'm going to use it so that I can advance twice. So okay. here we go. It's one and two. Nice. And then, ooh, what do I want to do twice? I guess I'll do this one first. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so I That's have some, some matching. Hitters. Yeah. I have some matching um, conduit tokens before I fill these. Okay. 
and it's gonna be these three and these three. Oh, where's my avatar? Here? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. So you can go one, two, and collect something. Yeah. Three. Oh yeah, I, I overshoot it, huh? I think, yeah, but just by touching it, you, you get to perform it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So what, well, is it worth it to do that or should I just go somewhere else? Because if I can put out this final uh, link token, so, so the only thing is you walked your way here. Mm -hmm. You must continue moving along the path. Well, I can teleport. You can teleport, unlike me. I yeah, can just forego true. this whole um, instance of moving my avatar and teleport. You, yeah, the only thing is you're not allowed to land on a link. Right. Yeah. I think I will do that. Okay. I'm going to forego this instance of moving to teleport. Uh, to teleport. Where to? I'm going to teleport over here. So facing that direction, nice. just like that. Nice. So that is this, uh, these three. Okay. Now I also have these three uh, matching symbols. And so that will allow me to move this up three times. Yep. So one, two, three. Now I have reached the top of... Release it. This. I can release it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to put it here. So it does not have to be a monument that's in play. It just has to be in a, a, an area where you are connected to. And I have a link token right there. So I'm considered connected. Oh, you know what? I think this is mine also. It is. Right? Yep. So instead of plopping my avatar here, I'm going to plop them here and then place this uh, energy that came from my transformative track into this region. Okay. So I can put it there because I have my, my link token there. Gotcha. So this is all part of a bigger plan. A master plan. Yes, that, that has to do with my final link token scoring. So now I can repopulate this and I only have these five left. Okay. So. I might as well, what is needed here? Play them out. I don't think, I don't even, oh yeah, I can reach this. Okay. I don't have a rose. I'm just going to do these, this, and this. Um, and then I will just fill in the bottom three. Sure. All right. Back to you, Naveen. Okay. All right. Seeing as I have nothing in the top that I can deploy even into that area there, I'm going to have to shift everything over. So I think I'm just going to shift once though, even though I have this. Really? And that's so I can line up my feet. <laughs> my feet. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna bring. Well, let's bring you. But if you if you move it over twice, you still can take the feet action. Um. You'll just seed your device with more the energy. Pro the problem is I need to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I need feet twice. So if I move this over one more, then I only get two mm -hmm. movement, and then I have to wait a whole other round. Whereas if, right now... I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> You're only getting two. I guess it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Sold. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll flip it. Let's Don't do let it. me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Messing you know, with me. Change your mind. Head games. All right. I don't know what your your strategy is here. That's not the one that you took out from here, right? No. Okay. No, no. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so now i got to populate. Okay, so I should get this thing going. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a flower and I'm going to put a wild. My, um, mm. my what's that Your called? Your primal my energy. Primal, yes. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to put that there. Let's put this one here. And I just need to fill in the blanks. So I might as well go there and there. Perfect. Very good. Okay. All right, back to me, which okay. I think uh, feels like my final turn. We'll see what Naveen does. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to exhaust this energy to move because I don't want to forget to do that. So I'm going to use it to move my avatar uh, three spaces. And we're going to move this way. It's very okay. important to me that it enters into this new region. So when you plopped, so, uh, when you basically teleported, you were able to face the yeah, character. Choose yeah. which uh, direction yeah. to face. So one, and that will allow me to put out my last link token, which the third tier link token is always an end game scoring for everybody. And you can choose which side to use. One side says if I have uh, five or more tiles of the same type in the two adjacent regions, then I score 11 points. Okay. And the other side is actually the one that I was planning on scoring, but I'm looking now and it's probably not as good. This is two points uh, per tile that are the same in the two adjacent regions. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning on putting this link token here, which would connect these two regions. And uh, seeing as I have all roses here and a rose there, um, after I complete my turn, my new unlocked ability, my, le my level three ability uh -huh. allows me to uh, relocate an energy from one monument to another. 
It's at the end of a turn in which I've moved into a new region. Right. So okay. doing that allowed me to move it to a new region. So I will be able to move my rows into uh, that monument, if that makes sense. I think so. Hope that, that makes sense. sense. Yes. Okay. So I need to remember to do that at the end of my turn. <laughs> yeah, that's what your goal is. <laughs> okay. Now, something very important. I'm going to exhaust this energy so that I can purchase. <laughs> I'm going to purchase a tile. Interesting. Um, the, the one tile. Okay. So I'm spending that. To purchase the cheapest tile here and the whole reason for that is because it is now my second transformative symbol so that i can score that achievement because before then i wasn't able to score any achievements are so you I'm gonna, gonna be able to get one out replace there? that huh oh no and these slide on you can put a, a tile there oh yeah why well, I, I don't have any more oh well I think that I is can, okay i think i can take from here though do you want to Remove from your device to place into the corridor? <laughs> yes, I you do. do. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's go ahead and put this one out there. It's going to be worth one point at the end of the game. Okay. Well, that's it. I was only um, able to afford one. And then I think, I think I'll be able to uh, deploy all three of these, uh, these tiles. Okay. So this lets me deploy these two. And this lets me deploy one of these two. So I'm going to use this tile to deploy that one okay. and one of these tiles to deploy these three. What are you so let's doing? let's start with that. I'm going to exhaust this energy okay. to deploy this, and this is gonna go to that achievement that I just unlocked. Uh, which one? The this one. Okay. The two the two transformative symbols that I have now on my um my gotcha. transmutation mute, tiles. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think this is the best that I can do. So <laughs> I'm gonna end the game. Okay. Um I I I think I might as well. Ooh, okay, what have you done? Yeah, because if I don't, then Naveen will. Mm -hmm. And so, you know <laughs> what I mean? So these two are going to go out. These right. two are just going to go here. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go here for the wild, because that's my primal uh, symbol, and then just like that. And then I have one last to deploy, which is this, which I guess will go into the corridor. Well, you might as well get one point. Because I don't think I, I, don't think I meet any... Of no, you don't have four feet, right? No. You only have three, just like me. I only have three. Um, you need I didn't two get of these. Any. You have none of those. You've already you're in here. I'm in there. And then this needs an entire column Which in the I reserve. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was working on it. All right. Well, that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this final monument. The okay. moment has come. So um I guess I can still oh I can remove an energy tile. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Oh I shouldn't have ended it. <laughs> yeah. No, you would have ended it. I, I was right. Ended, that I would have right. ended it, yeah. So since this is my wild, I'm going to choose to use it as um, the one that lets me move it around. Like so the I'm compass. Gonna, yeah. yeah, I'm going to send it there. Might as well get another point. Right. And then this is going to get bound ah. to this area here. And now oh, we I have like I don't like it. the final piece. <sighs> the I don't know what part of the book this is. <laughs> The front sail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not a Voila! sailors here. We have all three of our completed monuments. They all have names. Mm. There's a lot of lore that goes behind all of the monuments that are in this game. Right. So um, it's all in the rule book and probably available on the Kickstarter campaign page. Sure, yeah. But this is what it looks like in the final picture. Of a two-player game. And truly, before I end my turn, I need to remember to relocate my energy. So, oh, yeah, you said you were going to do I that. I said I was going to do that. Ah, all right, that is it. That. that is all for me at the end of my game. Naveen, final turn. Ugh. <sighs> get out of pillar. I, I, I really wanted to get myself here so I, I could get my big scoring level three tile. Mm. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Well, I don't see any way to get to that bridge to put out my last link, so I have some other things I can do. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this token, this energy, yep. to purchase this one right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be spending this. This goes into my exhausted pile. And now I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to replace it with one of my starting ones. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go there. These are all going to now slide down. I don't, I don't think we ever flipped this. We should have flipped this oh. <laughs> earlier. Ah, two feet. Would you <laughs> want to buy I did that? give you an extra point. Um, no, yeah, it's, it's the same did. difference. Yeah, I, I bought something for, for uh, cheaper. Okay. Uh, then with that, because now I have one, two of these symbols, I am now eligible for this one here. Right. So I am going to use this action to deploy uh, from two columns. I can deploy from these two columns. Mm -hmm. This one is the one I'm going to be deploying with this action. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to send it out onto this. So now at the end of the game, for every one of these symbols, mm -hmm. I think I have four on the board. I have one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be worth eight points. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. 
Um, and then with my last deploy uh, of these from this action, mm -hmm. I'm just going to send them back to this location right over here. Mm. Might as well. Okay. And why not go for a joyride? Let's just go a for joy a ride. little joyride. Halfway <laughs> one. Oh, I don't even know where it is, too. There we go. <laughs> what? Halfway to what I wanted right there. Okay. Why not? Why not? Why not? You Spend says. your actions. Oh, well, are you done? I think I, you know what? I might as well flip this over for no reason. Okay, I'm do you it. charged your, I charged yeah, it. you stick it to him. You know, might as well. Well, that is the end of the That's game. Yep. Uh, before we get into end game scoring, the one thing that we did not do for some reason is neither of us got out a pillar of Not in this play. So we needed to have some good synergy with the pillars in mm -hmm. previous plays. We, were, we acquired these tiles and yeah. were able to get conduit tokens that would line up and make it easier to do that. Yeah. Um, without that, it was a little bit tough, mm -hmm. but basically it would have been the exact same way that I did my transformative track, except when I go to spit it out, it would go onto one of these uh, six Designated areas. Spots, yeah. There's one up there. There's one in every region. Basically. There's a lot of points to be had there. You can get, if you can master it all, you yeah. can get 38 points. Yes. So, so we left a lot of points on the table <laughs> yeah. because we were so... Uh, we're so focused on, on getting these monuments. I think we were concerned about the monuments, for sure. Yeah, yeah. so anyway, that is our loss. Yeah. Let's go into endgame scoring, shall we? Sure. And even though this is a prototype, this came with a scoring sheet. So I'm I'm actually pretty impressed here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so starting with uh, the top right parameter, and we're just going to basically go counterclockwise scoring. Okay. So that is going to be for pairs of oh, energy that you were able to remove from your reserve. So that's be matching pairs. Yeah. Looks like the both of us uh, were able to remove two, two pairs each, which is what? Six points each. Six points, okay. Had I ended it, I would have used a benefit to take this one off to get that extra. I know, yeah. that's why I had to do it. Yeah. All right, uh, next parameter is going to be uh, points for each monument, depending right. on how many energy you have. Yeah, you can max 12 here. So let's count up all of mine first. Sure. Um, since I was first player, I guess. I only have one here. So three. And one is three points. Two, which is this, is seven points, mm -hmm. right? So I have two of them, actually, that are three and three. Okay, so that's six. So six plus seven. 13. Is 13 plus three, because all three is 12 points. It's yeah. 25? 25. All right, how about you? Uh, okay, so I have 12 uh -huh. plus 12, 24, oh, okay. plus 7. 24 plus 7, 31? 31. 31. Uh-oh. Keep it going, Keep it going. <laughs> Pillars of civilization. We've a already established nada. nada. We've established that. Nothing. We failed there. All yeah. right. This is um, tier 3 links. So I, I didn't think, get mine out. But I did. I wanted to. This one. Yeah. So this says, between these two regions, do I have five of the same type of energy? And I do all good five of these are rows. So wow. I get 11 points. You got that to work. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited about that. So that's 11 points. Yeah. It's 11 points. We do have achievements, though. And you're scoring two different achievements, yeah, which um, is nice. So let me do mine really quick. Sure. Because I just have one. Okay. So my achievement is this one. It was for having these two symbols oh, on my transmitter tiles. And so I get two points for each of my bound energy on the board. I think earlier I misspoke by saying anywhere on the board. Mm -hmm. It's not anywhere. It doesn't count in your the dimensional corridor. That's right. It's okay. a bound, bound energy of that uh, specific symbol, including this one, because this is considered bound. So, you, so got this all, is you got all of them out. All my roses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Six times two is 12. So 12 points. I think that's the best, the best you can do with an achievement. With my one achievement. That's pretty good. <laughs> Be be the best at the one thing that you can do, right? <laughs> yeah. So now with my compass symbols, I have one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be ten. That's nice. Okay. And then I and have then this, this one. one right here. It's uh one, two, three, four. So that's another eight. So it's eighteen. So eighteen. Nice. Oh no. Good. Oh no. And finally, we have the good old dimensional corridor. Uh, three which three. is three and three because it's one point each. I think it's really close. It's really close. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and do some math, and then I will get back to you. All right, the final scores are in. Are you ready for this? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't like the fact that you know, and I don't know. Ever. <laughs> well, I did the math. I know. It's the work. Yeah. Okay, so final scores are me with 57 okay. to Naveen with 58. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> One point. Ugh, didn't get to use oh. my, my double tiebreaker today. I did but, it. Oh, wow. That just goes to show we left 38 points on the table. 
I we mean, only scored 58. That's quite a feat to, to <laughs> put out those uh, those civilization pillars. That, the that, pillars of civil, I, they are pillars after all. I mean, yeah. it's stuff like mathematics. Yeah. Like, can you imagine? That's really tough to do. <laughs> like, I, I mean, if we divided it up, we would both still get, you know, 14, 14. Cause yeah. Like, in a two-player game, you can only go one spot each. So it was a big commitment to have to move up that track. It's a commitment. Yeah. To do the Pillars of Civilization, it's quite the commitment. Because if you don't have one out, just getting one out is only three, three points. Yeah. And that's the same amount of points that you get for putting out one uh, tile in a monument. Exactly. So yeah. that was why it was just so much more tempting to do the monuments. I think even we, though... we built them fast. So it was yeah. like... I can't justify the snowball effect that right. is those pillars. Right. So, because on yeah. the other hand, uh, the monuments are the timer for the game. So mm -hmm. in this gameplay, we I, th I think that there was a little bit of panic yeah. when it came to building. We always wanted to be a part of the monument tile when it was getting built. Yeah. Because you wanted to make sure that you can also gain those benefits. Mm -hmm. But in doing so, you speed up the game. That's right. Yep. So <laughs> and then you, you finally, you know, eventually you don't have time to put out those pillars if you weren't doing it early yeah, enough. There's so. a lot of stuff to think about. There's a lot of stuff. The, yeah. the, the games that we played prior have been different. And uh, obviously it's going to be a lot different when you play at higher player counts mm -hmm. because there are going to be more hands around the table, more regions with monuments. You play with one plus the number of players in terms of uh, number of monuments that you build. And so uh, when the final production version of this game comes out, there's going to be a sort of way that they're going to help the timer of the game if people around the table are not building the monuments. Yeah. Because there um, could be a moment of like, well, I know I'm losing, so I'm not going to contribute to that end game, which is, you know, closing out that monument. So right, right. from what we understand, they're going to be building in some sort of in-game timer. Yes, that is something that will be considered. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we hope the video was helpful today. If you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave us a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Now this game is currently on Kickstarter, so if this does interest you, there's a link in the description down below. And once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.